No pressure today, noted in uh, renowned life coach Taco Bob, a uh, studio full of people here, including the uh, lead singer of the band you just heard from, Shinedown, Brent Smith in studio. What's up, buddy? Hey, man. I'm, I'm waiting on my man over here to give some... Uh, Let's get some inspiration Listen, going, man. We've got this rolling on Facebook Live, by the way, silly, if you want to eavesdrop. Silly Pat. No pressure. I am a life coach. What we do as inspirational individuals is take pressure off of others. So don't worry about pressure. How do you like his uh, outfit? That he the fits fact in. that you rolled in here in a sports jacket is remarkable. Like, like, you're really taking think, this seriously. I think it's actually a, a polo. Is it a polo? At least the hanger was. Well, he's not phoning it in, is he? No. You know, I don't you're, play you're, around. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you can't see us. Right? Well, yeah, you can see us. We're on Facebook Live. Uh, he's not phoning it in, folks. Face yeah, Facebook he's in Live this. chronicling the uh, top shelf uh, apparel of Life Coach Taco Bob this morning. Okay, uh, two two five two six. When you send your questions in, please make them clever. If they just go to the bottom of the barrel right away. We just kind of ditch them, just to be straight up. Uh, if you want to start, Pat, because I've got so many over here. Oh, here's here's a nice little backhanded slap at me. Uh, Taco Bob, <laughs> has Pat Lynch not chosen to follow in your footsteps because the path is too long and difficult? Yeah, Pat is what some people call a slacker, but I don't like to use negative negative lingo like that. I just call him a big lazy ass who likes to sit around on Sundays and, work and watch football <laughs> while gentlemen like me happen to be, you know, at church and, and studying the, the word of the Lord and things like that. And speaking of which, we can seg right into this one that came in, I believe last week I had to save because it was so good. Some say amen, I say touchdown. Okay, there you go, to each his own. Some people say, woo, saw, to calm down, Pat says, ribeye. Uh, here's the one that segs perfectly with religion. If your son becomes a priest, do you call him son or father? Mm. Brent, I'm going to get that one to you. What would you call your son decides to become a priest? Yeah. Would you call him son or would you call him father? Uh, I would just call him the man. There you go. <laughs> the man. I wouldn't even bother with the other two. I'd just call him the man. And could you punish him? You're right, Pat? Would you punish mm, your, your yeah. son or daughter? Like if your daughter back here became a nun after throwing all the rage and party she has. Pat, Pat's, uh, Pat's daughter's in the studio, the one who threw, we'll tell you about her party later, Brent. Oh my gosh. Uh, this, He's a doozy. Jen, are blow lights you know involved? The, you know the Gen X party, the movie, Gen X? I Earth? know about it. I don't know. Oh, oh no, yeah, I know exactly the what mass, you're talking about. The massive yeah. house party, yes, fires. Uh-huh. And it's, it's starting to uh, make sense. Cars there, stolen. Mm -hmm. His daughter did that. That's amazing. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. This listener would like to know how they combat lifted trucks with the blinding lights driving too close behind them at night. Okay, how do you combat that? What you do is your mirror is equipped with a little thing where you just turn it, you flip it, turn up. it down. Yeah, you yeah. can flip it up or down. It has a little switch on it. You could do that, or you could just rip the sun bitch off. But then that. that then that could get you a ticket down the road. It's true. Also, another little fun fact with cars that my daughter of all people told me, I think when she was ten years old. A life hack. Did you ever know this one, Brent? When you're driving somebody else's car and you got to fill it up with gas, do you know how to know which side the tank's on? Uh, isn't it on the speedometer? It points to the side where the little gas... On the gas gauge. Yeah, yeah the there's gas a little, little There's parrot. a little arrow yeah. that tells you which direction the uh, the pump is on. Have you, you all borrowed the jacket? I mean, because you're almost like... No, man, I'm not... I mean, I, I, I just recently, though, this is why the universe is real. Zach... Uh, just told me that no BS like two weeks ago. We never knew either. Because I was like, what is that? And he was like, well, that's so you know where to put the gas in. Yeah. I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah. I'm so like, anyway. I'm in my 40s. My daughter's was 10, and she told me, and I now I'm always doing it. If I'm driving my wife's car, I just look down. There it is. Also, if you look at the clock on an iPhone, the red hand moves, even on the main screen, and I never knew that. I knew that. Wow. Because every day we try to get 10, 11 on the, this is really deep. When it turns 10, 11 in the morning, yeah, one oh one one. Yeah, we all, we all race to see who can get it first. And I look at the phone on the clock. Oh, I might have given something away for you. Yeah, no, no, you're good. You're right. good. Taco, uh, why did the Scots think it was a good idea to hit some rocks into a hole from a ways away? Oh, you're talking golf? No, they're apparently they are. Yes. Yes, uh, golf. Well. Why did they think it was a good idea? That's what they want to know. I don't know, but it seems that it's turning the other way now because golf's getting less popular and courses are going out. So maybe the Scottish are really dumb at the end of it. Wait I mean, a minute, is it Scottish or is it Irish that created uh, or invented whiskey? Which one was that? Irish. Ooh. I think that'll be was Irish. Was that the Irish? Because I could remember. Jameson. 
Yeah, you're probably right. I just wondered maybe they were drunk and they decided to take a stick and try to hit a little pebble into a hole. Could be. I like that advice better. Could be. Um, here's another one. Golf related. I love how these seg together. Bob, do golf balls hurt as bad as tennis elbow? Ooh. Tennis elbow sucks. Yeah, but golf balls. You know how you get those, right? I don't know if I want to know. I learned it. <laughs> I learned it from Larry the Cable Guy years ago. Okay, let's have said, it. I went golfing the other day and hurt my leg on the ball washer. God. We yeah. got time for Is one Is this the more. get her done, dude, you're talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. That, that explains so much. <laughs> he needs to be on our show. <laughs> we got uh, time for one more Ask Taco, then we'll take a break and then come back and spend some more time with uh, Brent Smith from Shine video this morning. You pick it because I've got a bunch over here and then there's Shine Down stuff mixed in because people want to hear him back on talking some good got stuff. A listener who would like to know what the fear or phobia of chainsaws is called. Fear or, or phobia of chainsaws? Is he looking? You're looking that up? Well, of course I am. You can't be a... If you hey, man, it. we're on radio. They, they wouldn't have known this unless Facebook. you said some... Oh, yeah, forget about that. Over you're on there. Facebook Live right now. You well, I'm curious to, about that. You have to flow with it. What it is, if you're afraid of chainsaws, it, some people could just call it chainsaw phobia. What you have to remember is it could be a lot worse. You could be afraid of, afraid of machetes, which is machete mania, and you don't want to go there. What is your hourly rate, by the way, when you're not doing the, uh, the, the oh, charity work here? For a normal person? Yeah. I get seven fifty an hour. 750 bucks an hour. Yeah. There you go. So I have no idea what that means. Chainsaw. Which one are we looking at, Brent? I think it's the one like right there where it says description. Yep. They're calling it chainsaw phobia. Just like I said, chainsaw-itis it could be. And I asked Google. Phobia of chainsaw. It's called phobia de chainsaws. I was right! You were right. Spanish. For oh, wait, no, chainsaws. that's just a... Uh, thank you, Taco. We think for the just uh, amazing um, insight on all things. Yeah, so. absolutely. Seriously. That was awesome, man. And the, the marriage advice we gave earlier, by the way, a 30-year marriage counselor. Marriage counselor's been 30 years in the business, so yeah. we hit it spot on. Oh, that we gave earlier in the show? Check credit, and as Pat said, never lie. And we did have one listener here saying his buddy sent him a nude of a friend of theirs, <laughs> and his wife, he walked in and his wife was looking at his phone. Okay. He said, should I tell her or not? That wasn't a joke. What do you guys think? Would you tell her? Back it up one more time, just so I'm clear. Let's just say Pat took a picture of somebody nude and sent it to me. Well, I have it on my phone. Right. My wife finds it. Okay. I, I say tell the wife. If he walked in and saw the wife talking right. on the phone. Yeah, I mean, if you got nothing to hide, yeah. you know, and, and if it was innocent, you know exactly. what I mean? Just Pat's, tell him. Just or tell her. Pat's an absolute scumbag. Look at what he's cheating on his wife with. Oh, dear God. Oh, we'll be <laughs> back with more from Brent from Shinedown in just a few minutes.